Hey guys, uh, this is Sunday. just bringing you another Pro League match. Um, this one is between teams Air Force Ace versus the KTF Magicians. Um, I'm actually a huge KTF Magician uh, fan, so if I'm completely biased about them, then uh, don't take it too personal because it's going to be hard not to completely root for them because I love them so much. And I'm actually so excited about this. <laughs> Okay, so um, uh, the first matchup will be Day Dazing Day Zang. I don't know how to say it. Day Zang, a Protoss player versus Harry, a Terran player. So it's Day Zang versus Harry. That's the first matchup, and um, there's the KTF magicians with their sweet orange uh, costumes. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that biased. Gosh. <laughs> Their costumes are so tight. <laughs> Anyways. No, I'm just kidding. I'm actually I actually like the Air Force Ace team. I mean it's great what they do. It's just so cool. I can't like the United States do that. Actually that one soldier I actually saw a soldier cheering for the StarCraft. He was actually at a StarCraft match, so maybe that's what he's, you know, maybe that's what he's coming here in here to check it out, and then like the United States is actually gonna get up uh the United States Army might actually uh, get up a StarCraft team. That soldier who I saw watching the match, I think that's what he's doing. Yep, I think it is. He's just trying to get some insight how to set up a team, and then he's going to come back, and the U.S. Army will make up a StarCraft team. And I completely have no idea what I am talking about. But, yeah, there we see the Air Force Ace. I'm actually a – I really think it's cool what the Air Force Ace team does. It's just – um. Actually, yeah, so it's just they're obviously not going to be as good because they don't practice as much. But other than that, I mean, you know, I mean, it's way cool what they do. And actually, they're not in last place. They're in second to last. And that, that sounded like a complete rude comment, but I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> they're actually not the worst team. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't mean it like that. It's just kind of cool because... They usually are at the bottom of the list, but now they are not. So, um, I am very excited about this. The first matchup, again, is between Day Zang and Harry. So, a PVT. I completely think KTF Magicians will win this uh, matchup pretty easy. But you never know, you know? I mean, who knows? Maybe, uh... The Air Force Ace are sick of losing, and they're going to come out and completely dominate. Um, I highly doubt it, but it'd be really cool to watch. Even though I am a KTF fan, it'd be cool to see Air Force Ace come out here and just show their Air Force game, I guess. So, um, oh yeah, uh, the first game will be played on Coliseum, so I am thrilled about to hear that. I love Coliseum. So, um, yeah, so I, I really want to know what you guys want me to do. Okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit. I've been talking to some of the SC2GG uh, commentators, some of the main ones. And um, Psionic Reaver, I'm trying to get hooked up with him. No, not dating. <laughs> I meant I'm trying to do like a dual commentary with him and stuff. And then um, I want to be able to do uh, get involved in the Yankee League too because I think that's way cool because it's like, closer to us and it's like it's United States and Canada League or whatever you know so I think that'd be way cool to get involved in and then I really want to become a main SC2GG commentator because uh, it's so cool what they do and there's just so many good um, commentators on that website and to be alongside with all those great commentators would be so cool so there's the uh, KTF coach right there and um wow <sighs> so um yeah i really um i haven't had too many like i haven't had any posts about what you guys want me to do or what i can do better i i know i'm not i'm just i'm a very new commentator so i'm not great at it yet at all, in any means i'm not even good really i'm just like trying to become better so if you guys could criticize me and give me criticism and um Tell me what I can do better. I'm really gonna. I'm really open to listening to your new ideas, and I really would love it if you guys would kind of criticize me and help me out so I could become 
a better StarCraft commentator because I obviously need some work because I'm very new to this. I mean, I know about the StarCraft game, but I'm very new to commentating. So anything you guys can tell me will help me. And I want to say thank you to TeamLiquid.net for um, for... This is where I this is where I've been getting my replaces from TeamLiquid.net. I don't know if that's really where SC2GG gets it from. I have no idea, but um, I'm happy that Team Liquid's a net's around until I at least can give all of it to SC2GG because um, I'm getting all my replays from there, and that's how I'm doing all these commentaries. So a uh, a shout out and a thank you to TeamLiquid.net, and obviously I'd like to say thanks to SC2GG. I mean, all those commentators on there are great guys, and they're really easy to talk to, and they're very friendly and um they're great at what they do and uh, also thanks for uh putting me on your uh, main page sc2gg to uh, on a post to uh, to get me some um recognition and so people will see me and uh kind of criticize me and give me some help so that'll really help people um that'll really help me if you guys would uh do that for me so i'm very happy that SE2GG and Team Liquid are around, or my commentating career would be coming to a quick stop. <laughs> I'd be still commentating Battle.net games if it wasn't for you guys, so I thank you. And I really want to become an SE2GG commentator, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying that until I become one. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah. So I am very excited about this. Um, I actually. I actually got just done commentating Eastro vs. MVC Game Hero. So this is my fifth game of the night, and I could do 20 more. <laughs> Seriously. I have, like, this raspberry lemonade. I'm drinking it, and it is pretty tasty and keeps my throat feeling pretty good. So um, I could do, like, 20. I wish you didn't have to sleep, and I could commentate, like, 150 StarCraft games a day. But, uh, yeah, I need sleep, unfortunately. So I'm not exactly sure um how much longer this is going to be before this game starts. So uh but they both here we go. It's going to be starting very soon, I believe. I think both players have joined the game or they're and they're just working out the kinks and making sure it is like when they are practicing on their own and that's a huge thing and they're warming up their hands and keeping things warm and um that's a big part of the game. So yeah, they both have joined the game. So this game will be getting underway very shortly but until then I'm not exactly sure what to talk about